Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock, and it's Friday night. Tomorrow's a big Saturday night. I got some picks for you for tomorrow's games. Now, from now on, I'm going to let you know that I probably won't be doing picks on the weekends anymore. Uh, I didn't. I was supposed to actually tell you about that a little earlier. Look at I'm all disheveled. Ugh. That's no better. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Thanks for your subscriptions over the Patreon. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The Patreon that I have that we give fine betting picks to find fair. Uh, people making lots of money over there. And uh, we got a couple people go over there. On, you know, you'll get your My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace with your subscription to my channel here. Or if you go over to Patreon, actually, I'll throw in another one to you if you go over to the Patreon. Uh, but uh, we rocked it. And that's probably why everybody went over there. We made tons of money. Today, uh, for my picks today, you can go look at my last video and it shows you some of the picks I gave you. But I'll tell you the picks I gave my Patreon, pat patrons from yesterday. We had, uh, first one was kind of a bummer. where It was Washington versus the Sabres, which was tonight. I wasn't sure about that Bannock check kid, so I went uh, over six for that game. But he played pretty well. And uh, I kind of was leaning the Sabres, but I didn't put it in as a pick. Uh, but Washington won 2-1 or something like that. Anyways, it was under, so we didn't get that one. Philadelphia versus the Penguins. We won on a big uh, minus 1.5 for Philly on the PL. Philly on the PL for 320. Boom. Hit that with some good pearls on there. Uh Lightning versus Black, Black, uh, Blackhawks, also PL, hit that um, with some good pearls on that. So and we put a small bet on the under on there, and we didn't get it, but no big deal. Oh, we were up quite a bit, quite a bit on that uh, so far, but we have this one here now that could bring us down a tad. St. Louis, Colorado. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, I got freaked out when I saw St. Louis play such good defense against them the first game uh, that I should have been all over Colorado to win this but it doesn't matter I didn't take St. Louis I took the under six and I'm watching it right now and Colorado is winning five nothing so with 11 minutes left so I'm hoping for no more scoring and then we're good and then we're really up for today we're like three for two or four for two or something like that uh, so yeah, it just continues to kick serious butt, my friends. Thank you for the letters asking me if I was going to be doing this this weekend. Uh, just giving picks. It was great. That's kind of the reason why I did it. We had uh, Fahusha Langer, Longer. Is that Longer? Fahusha Longer from uh, Great Britain. Wow. Thank you. Yorkshire wrote asking and we yes we do uh, we love your letters uh julio he goes down uh guido has got the COVID, so he brought in julio he goes down to the mail room and he gets a sack of letters and he brings them up like that just like that just like that and then he pours it all over the letter table and helen who you know grinds the pearls i'll send you some pearls there at the end of the video and makes the my nhl pearls of wisdom necklaces and melissa and hernandez of course the perlocopter drivers we all watch we all read them we flip through them we find the good ones and uh we would we, uh, we had uh terrell brooks from detroit michigan and uh pahune sayamar pahune sayamar from syria that doesn't sound like a syrian name but thanks for the letters, guys. Okay, let's get into our Saturday, 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 the finest day in the land picks NHL because there's so many games on. That's why it's so fine. Uh, okay, we're going to start off with Boston and New Jersey. I'm going to give you one paid pick here, by the way. So have your ears on. Get your, get your, uh, get all your, your textbooks out and such. And uh, be ready, right? Get your pen, pencils, crayons, all of those things. 
Uh, and uh, so it's New Jersey and Boston. I have something on the total here for my patrons. And I'm, so I'm going to go with the line. And uh, so let's maybe move it over to the money line. We have Boston at 156, Jersey at 244. Now the first game, Jersey started out well and started to fade against uh, – Get out of there. I don't want your email. There, get. Why is that doing that? I don't know. I uh, far started to fade. Anyways, 256, 254. Boston outplayed him quite a bit, though. And uh, they are very injured. I don't think he sure Batman is going to be back or Bratz. Now, I know Pasternak is out for Boston, but that's a lot to have out of the lineup for New Jersey, especially when their defense is not really hitting on all cylinders so i'm going to probably go with boston here you're not getting much juice i wouldn't throw much on it uh but i would take boston between those two san jose arizona again i have something on the total here uh, actually you know what i have something on both i can't give you any of these so never mind islanders versus the rangers i have something for the total here for patrons but this is going to be my free pick for you. I'm going to give you the total. I'm going to give you the one that we have for a free pick. Just because, you know, you guys are so special to me. This makes me feel so good inside to know that you're watching. So I'm going to give you a free pick. Oh, I love y'all. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, no, what am I doing? I want total, 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 total. Five and a half, I believe it is. Right? Five and a half. If you can find it for six, great, but I doubt it. Any time for me, most of the time anyways, the Islanders are getting five and a half. I'm going to play that under. So we're going to give you a free pick, and it's 204. Nice free pick for you. Juicy one. Juicy. Getting double your money on that one. You're welcome. Okay, Carolina versus Detroit. Uh, I have a pick on the toe on the line here, so I'm gonna have to give you the. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I have a pick on the line, so I don't think to do some on the total. This is a. This is all. This seems like the exact number almost. I could see in this be four one something like that. They played Grice the first game. I imagine they're gonna play Bernier this game. Maybe not. I think they played Bryce the first game because he was kind of more warm. He played in the playoffs. So I'm really on the fence about this. Um, I'm going to just lean that Bernier is a little cold. Carolina's got a lot of firepower. They threw a lot of pucks at the net last game. And that they break through a little more this time and they get over that five and a half. Uh, also, Detroit has some injuries. They just looked really bad that last game, uh, um, as bad as they did last year. So, um, all right, let's get to Edmonton, Montreal. I have something for the line here. So we got the total. This is going to be tough. Um, Edmonton's playing three of three games of four, three games in four nights. Montreal is, has played one game so far. Played very good against Toronto and ended up losing. Showed a fair amount of offense. Um, the question is, well, who is Edmonton going to put in net? Smith apparently is injured. Um, oh, did they just score another one? Did I just lose my... I think I did. I think it's 6 nothing now. It's a push. Got eight minutes. Eight minutes to get my push now. <laughs> That's all I ask is a push. Sorry. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to go over six and a half. That's a big total, but you're getting 195. So I'm going to go over six and a half. I really think that's quite possible that that could go over. You got a tired Edmonton team, but they still got wheels to score. Montreal's fresh. They showed up to, They showed that they can score with this lineup. Oh no, it's seven nothing now. I got I lost the under. Wow. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, lost the under. Oh well, we're still up a little bit of money. Toronto versus Ottawa. Um I have a play on the line here, so I'm gonna give you a play on the total. I still think they're gonna go over six and a half here. 
I might still give this to my patrons. You might be getting two picks here. Um, I still think they'll go over. So there you go. That's just two young, uh, fast lineups. The thing is, Toronto's playing three games in four nights. Uh, so they could have, you know, their pace down a little bit, but I'm going to go over. Nashville versus Columbus. Um, I have a pick on the total here. Uh, so we're going to go with the line. Money line. Um, Columbus looked just didn't look good that last game and the whole stuff that's going on with Dubois. Uh, I'm going to take the juice on Columbus here anyways. Um, they always surprise. They could definitely do it. I'm probably not going to give this to patrons, but I'll take the juice and go with uh, Columbus. Um, Minnesota, Los Angeles. What do I have on this game? I have a... I believe I have something on the total... Yes, I have something on the total here, but I don't have anything on the line. So I'm going to give you a line. Um, that Minnesota looked really good that last game. Quick is inconsistent. Um, I'm going to go with Minnesota for 174. It's not the best. You can get 179 on bet online. By the way, the, I'm showing you this because you can look at the totals. Like for Columbus, you can get 206. Uh, some of the lines are not out for some of the games, like Toronto, Ottawa not getting it from everybody out there. So keep an eye on that. Try to find the highest one you can. Um, Pinnacle is usually pretty good for spreads and stuff like that. There's really, really got to watch the lineups. Minnesota, okay, Vancouver, Calgary. I got something on the line. Uh, what do we got on the, what do we got on the total? We got six and a half. Vancouver's going to be tired. I, I, I think this is going to be a tough game. I would go under 6.5 on that game. I might even give that to my patrons as well. And finally, Vegas, Anaheim. I have something on the line here. Um, I think Anaheim is already dejected. Uh, this is really tough. I'm going to go over 5.5. But uh, as you can tell, I'm not very confident. Anyways, boys and girls, that's your full 42. And like I said, I won't be doing weekend picks from now on. I did it for you today because I forgot to tell you that I wasn't going to do it. And, you know, all the land is waiting patiently. I didn't want you to, you know, get up early in the morning and, you know, get your pearls of wisdom necklace on with your family and, you know, hover around the uh, laptop waiting and then it doesn't come. So I did that for you. That Boys and girls, I believe is my full 42%. You have an amazing weekend and enjoy your Saturday night of hockey. I know I will be. That's part of the reason why I don't do picks. I frolic endlessly on Saturday nights. I love it, love it, love it. I love to watch the games. I love to watch them all. Hope you do too. Hope to see. I will see you again Monday morning. Uh, Steelflyers.com. I'm doing a, a week. I'm doing a uh, daily during the week live broadcast two hours a day that's steel flyers all sports network you can check it out great site it's going to be even better it's getting bigger and bigger all the time you got jim jackson from uh nbc the guy the uh the voice of the philadelphia flyers he's on our show he's on that site and we're getting more and more people of that ilk all the time it's good times go check it out have a great day everyone Oh, yeah, I better tell you the time, right? Yeah, it's between 10 and tw it's between 12 and 2 Eastern, the lunchtime. And I also put it out in the evening for you to watch it pre-recorded. Have a great day. Lots of love to you.